Yes, I know, it's been a long time coming and I know a few of you have been sitting on your hands rocking forwards and backwards in anticipation. So here we have the Commoner Garden Sky T2 or is it a Sky T? I don't know. But it's the, uh, let's call it a ubiquitous Sky T. Uh, seems to be a popular word at the moment. Right, so what we have here is the AZ Star Pro from uh, Alexander over in Ukraine. Uh, I bought this on eBay. Uh, I needn't really, I could have bought it direct from Alexander, but uh, it was only after all the communication uh, and help that really I didn't really need he was answering questions that I didn't bother to read in the instructions. However, he answered them. It's a consummate professional. Put me at ease. And here we have the Sky T with stepper motors. And for demonstrations purposes, I put a big telescope on it that my daughter bought me for Christmas because she didn't know what I wanted and thought it would be a good idea at the time. However, here we are and I'm going to show you what you will need to install this. Firstly, I'll give you a rundown. The AZ Pro was $239 plus $18 shipping and I think the uh, King stung me for about £40 duty. Uh, next, we have some NEMA 17s, 1.33 amp, 34 millimetres long. And on hindsight, give you an idea of scale, my finger. On hindsight, I would have gone for some 2 amp, not 1. Uh, and I may have even gone for 1.8 degree steppers. And perhaps even 2.1 amp, 60 millimeter, sorry, 60 millimeter long with 65 nmc torque. These are very low torque, but I will demonstrate them anyway. So the stepper motors were £26.78 delivered from Stepper Online and the brackets were £9.98. Now the Sky T has two, uh, I think they're M3, yes, M3 uh, like caphead bolts holding the uh, worm drive cover on. Well, it's not a cover, it's actually a, a carriage, worm drive, here. And I bought a box of a thousand M2, M3, M4 screws, nuts and washers for, I think, £10. Um, and uh, Astro Gadget supplies terminal for you to solder up. You get these RJ45 leads, azimuth and altitude, and he gives you some blocks that you solder your stepper motor wires onto. But I bought these on Amazon and they are called RJ45 female to eight pin and they were £8.99 for two. And then all you'll need after that is you will need a PC to attach the USB to this. And once you've installed, I think it's five, five app apps, you can then program this to this. Oh, I might have missed out on that. These are GT2 pulleys. Uh, this is a 48, this is a 16, and this belt is a 168-2 GT2. 
I also used a piece of uh, aluminium shimming to tighten up the belt. It just needs to, to be tightish but not tight as, otherwise the worm gear will tilt and you'll get problems there. Uh, and it's the same ratio on both. So the Sky T has 144 teeth driven by a worm gear. So uh, I think that works out at uh, 48 divided by 16 times 144 equals and then times 2 because these steppers are 0 0.9 not 0 0.1.8 and then you load the software in and it's, it's self-explanatory but anyway right so you all want to see it running sorry I've got a runny nose uh, yeah right so we'll turn this on so and I will do a video of it running so you can hear it beeping twice oh the jack plug it doesn't come with a power plug for some strange reason uh, and this will cost you a couple of quid for one of these I put a, a 5 amp fuse in it just a belt and braces and it's running on an old car battery that is charged to 13 volts but it'll run down to about 11 right so what without using sky safari you can use this and this is uh, altitude azimuth little box now to set the speed can you see that's going incredibly slowly sorry just focus By holding down this top button and holding top and bottom buttons, if I can with one hand, excuse me, I'll just do that. You can hear a beat twice, which has increased the speed. There are four settings something like 4 times 16, 32, whatever and there you go and then the uh, azimuth and this is a big scope, 10 kilos and it's not very noisy There you go. So you'll need to put on the um, the app for uh, Skywatcher, and you'll need um, Sky Safari. You load Sky uh, Skywatcher app up. It recognises the Wi-Fi on this box, and then you load in Sky Safari, and it's nearly just follow the routine for your first star alignment, second, and away you go. It's very quiet. Next door's dog doesn't bark when I'm using it, which it did with an EQ mount many years ago. But again, I'm going to upgrade the steppers because I'll probably put two telescopes on uh, and it, the, the box will take 2.5 amp and this is only 1.3 and I think I'm going to run it at 2.1 Well I hope that's been of uh, some interest to you I'm going to strip it down and I'm going to place all the bits as a part 2 and an assembly video at some point but I'm in the process of putting a new kitchen in the in the house, so that's not going to be for a while. I hope that's been of use to you lads and lasses. I recommend this. I recommend Alexander is an absolutely lovely fella. 
and he's based over in Ukraine. Uh, so uh, I uh, wholeheartedly recommend you support him. And uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.